This is your Fox 47 News Flash. Welcome to your Fox 47 News Flash from the Digital Newsroom. I'm Chris Lewis, and these are the top stories that we're following. The Delta Township Fire Department says it's seeing more brush fires during the summer season. Fox 47 spoke with Mike Ruster, who holds multiple positions at the Delta Township Fire Department. He says they usually see more fire accidents during the dry summer weather because it's easier for fires to catch when people aren't paying attention. Ruster says as summer activities continue, it's important to be careful when lighting any type of firework or lantern and to always keep an eye on your campfire. People flicking cigarettes out, there are a few smokers that will just kind of toss the cigarette butt out the window. With this dry weather, you're going to end up having those grass fires on the side of the road, said Ruster. Make sure that when you're done with your campfires to make sure that you completely put them out because embers and stuff can fly into the air and catch fire somewhere else. So just make sure you're putting out them with water and make sure that they're completely out before they're unattended, added Ruster. Ruster says if you plan to have a campfire, be sure to keep a hose or water bucket nearby. He also recommends calling the fire department if a situation ever gets out of control. The head of the Okemos School District regrets not stopping the high school's graduation ceremony last month. This comes after the Ingham County Health Department confirmed a high school senior who attended the ceremony had tested positive for COVID-19. The high school held its graduation via a drive through ceremony. In an email sent to parents, Superintendent John Hood says that some people at the ceremony didn't follow social distancing guidelines. He said he should have shut it down then. Students were told to stay in their cars with their families at all times. In his email, Hood goes on to address reports that the district has received emails regarding students attending large gatherings. The superintendent is urging people to follow guidelines for social distancing and wear masks to help the district meet its goal of opening schools this fall. Ingham County Health Officer Linda Vale said that they are working with the Okemos School District and they are in the midst of contact tracing. Vale says that they will continue to investigate and put out a public notice if they feel that those who went to the ceremony should be concerned. Tear gas canisters were flying through downtown Lansing the night of a protest over the death of George Floyd when it turned violent. A state representative wants to make sure it doesn't happen again by banning the use of tear gas against crowds. Representative Kara Hope of Holt introduced a bill after showing images of protesters in thick smoke. Representative Julie Brixey of Meridian Township signed on to the fellow Democratic lawmakers idea. Supporters believe the substance can make COVID-19 symptoms worse. Tear gas irritates the eyes and lungs and the throat, Brixey said. So people are rubbing their faces, coughing, and that is really problematic. It contributes to the spread of COVID-19. The CDC said riot control agents like tear gas can cause t- chest tightness and shortness of breath. One study shows a spike in respiratory illnesses in military recruits who were exposed to tear gas. MSU Police Captain Doug Monette said tear gas is a last resort. While the chemical is legal in all 50 states, several other cities, including Seattle, Pittsburgh, and Washington, D.C., have restrictions on the use of tear gas. The bill is currently in the House Judiciary Committee. The coronavirus has changed all of our lives, and many people don't know where to turn for help. That's why Fox 47 News, WSYM-TV, created Rebound MidMichigan. Everything you need to help you get back on track in one convenient place. From dealing with stress to unemployment to helping put food on your table, plus ways you can lend a hand to others in your community. Rebound MidMichigan, everything you need to help you get through these difficult times. We may have fallen, but we will rebound together. Visit fox47news.com forward slash rebound to learn more. For all of our local high school seniors, we know that their senior year has been different than usual, but that doesn't mean that we shouldn't celebrate their accomplishments. That's why Fox 47 News created the Senior Spotlight. It's a way for anyone to be able to share a video shout out or upload a photo of a special graduate that deserves recognition. So go to fox47news.com forward slash grad to upload your video or photo today to let mid-Michigan graduates know how important they are and how bright their future truly is. Learn more about all of these and all mid-Michigan's breaking news on fox47news.com.